A-Free Algebra. So it is Sunday and I'm making this video for Tuesday's lesson. So I'm hoping to get uh, this week's all planned. So by tomorrow or even today, you will have the whole week planned. So what we're doing on Tuesday is we're gonna finish up angles and then we're gonna start our next unit basically uh, with slope and slope intercept. And believe it or not, that's gonna go till the end of the year. So um, I hope you guys are hanging in there. I know it can be grueling um, what we're dealing with. It's not easy on both of our ends, but we just gotta keep at it. You guys are doing a great job keeping up with your work. So um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. Um, I can't believe I'm still in PJs at three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, but anyway, uh, let's get to what we're going to do today. It won't be long. Uh, if you have questions, get on con. There's a con video. Uh, but this is going to incorporate a little algebra with what we're doing, we've been doing with complementary angles, supplementary angles, and vertical angles. So I've got three examples here on whiteboards. I'm just going to show you one of each of what you'll see. There's two con assignments for... Actually, it's going to be a lot of con this week, uh, to be honest with you. You're going to have a couple con assignments on Tuesday. You're going to do some coordinate plane stuff on Wednesday, what you've seen in sixth grade. And then you're going to get to slope. Uh, on Thursday, but this is probably the only video I'm going to do this week. I may do one Thursday. Uh, I'll attach a slope video just to kind of go over some things you need to know about slope, but uh, let's get to what we're doing today. So complementary angles, all we're, all we're going to do, it's not going to be as easy as what you've done where you just subtract it from 90 to find the missing angle. What you're going to see now are things like this, okay? Uh, let me get these back up here so these are pretty. So my supplementary and my vertical. So Complementary angles, right? They equal 90. So instead of having it nice and easy and have like this be X and this be 40, where you can just take 90 minus 40, now you're gonna see it's, we're gonna have an equation here. So what they have here is they say this angle, with the one arc, this angle is three X plus four. This angle with the two arcs, so they're not the same, they're different angles, is two X minus nine. So how the heck do I find one X and then two, they may, the question may ask you, well, what's the measurement of one of these angles? Well, you can't find the measurement of one of these angles unless you find X. So what you have to do is realize, one, that when I add these two together, it equals 90 because they're complementary. So we go back to equations back in quarter one. So we are combining like terms. So you have 3X plus 4 plus 2X minus 9 is equal to 90. So what's that look like? What's the work you're gonna have to do is this. So then on your paper, now I guess mentally you could try and figure it out. You could guess and check. You may eventually get it, um, but why not just combine your like terms? So you're gonna take your three X plus four plus two X minus nine equals 90 because they're complementary. This is gonna change when we get to supplementary. We're not gonna make it equal to 90. We'll combine like terms. Three X plus two X is five X. Negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. There's your equation. 5x minus 5 equals 90. I haven't shown the river or any of that. I just worked it all the way down where you're going to get that x is equal to 19. Now, if the question on con says find the value of x, you stop here. But they may say, well, what's the value of the angle that had 3x plus 4? Well, you plug each of 19 into each of these. And you can find the measurement of each angle. So if x is equal to 19, well, my 3x plus 4 angle, well, that's 3 times 19, which is 57. 57 plus 4, that angle was 61 degrees. And then I plug in my x equals 19 into 2x minus 9. 2 times 19 is 38. 38 minus 9 is 29. So my two angles were 61 degrees and 29 degrees. And what do you notice, hopefully, that those both add up to 90 degrees because they're complementary. So that's how you solve it with complementary angles. And they could give you anything here. I mean, they could vary this as much as they want. I mean, I just gave you two that worked out nicely. Okay. That's complementary. Supplementary. Okay. This should, look, this should look familiar to you, what supplementary angles look like. They form a straight angle. But now instead of giving you an X and, let's say, a 63 to find the missing angle, now they say your angles are X plus 3 and 2x plus 12. Well, they're supplementary, so you know that they equal 180. So you just have to combine your like terms, combine your x's, combine your constant terms, and form your equation and solve it. But now, because they're supplementary, you make it equal to 180. So what's that look like? x 
2x plus 3, angle 1, plus 2x plus 12, angle 2. You add those together, you make it equal to 180. Combine your like terms, you get 3x plus 15 equals 180. Solve it for x, work your way down, you're going to get that x is 55. If Khan asks for x, stop. If Khan's asking for one of these two angles, you have to plug this x in here and solve it. So now, let's just plug it into the first one. Well, your first angle is x plus 3. 55 is x plus 3. That angle is 58 degrees. 2 times 55 is 110. 110 plus 12 is 122 degrees. Those are the two angles. Notice, they add up to 180. 122 plus 58 is 180, and that should always happen. So that's an example of supplementary equals 180. And then the last one you're going to see, this is its, uh, an assignment on its own. It's uh, equation practice with vertical angles, I think is what it's called on con. So what you're going to see is vertical angles. Well, what do you know about vertical angles? Well, they're not equal to 90. They're not equal to 180. They are equal to each other. So if they give you vertical angles, you know that these are equal. So can you mentally maybe figure it out? Possibly. But why not just take your algebra route? Set them equal to each other in the equation, get your x's on one side, get your number on the other, get your constant term on the other, and solve it. So here on this angle, we know that these are equal. So we know that 7x minus 18 is equal to 3x plus 30. And now, there's your equation. 7x minus 18 is equal to 3x plus 30. I took my 3x's, put them over here. I subtracted 3x, got 4x. I put my negative 18, added 18, put it over there. I have 4x is equal to 48. Solve it for x is equal to 12. Now, plug it into both of those. If you've done it correctly, you'll find that both those measurements are equal. So if x is equal to 12, 7 times 12 is 84. 84 minus 18 is 66 degrees. 3 times 12 is 36. 36 plus 30 is 66 degrees. They better be equal because they're vertical angles. So that's what you're going to see Tuesday. Okay, there's two con assignments. One assignment is complementary vertical. Just make sure you get set it equal to the right amount. The other assignment's vertical angles, or I'm sorry, complementary and supplementary. The other one's vertical. Wednesday, I will not post a video. I will post just a YouTube video on coordinate plane, ordered pairs, quadrants. If those words sound familiar to you, you'll be fine on Wednesday. And then we'll get into slope, which is new. Uh, and that may take us actually till the end of the year, believe it or not. We've only got 12 days left, so we're counting down most definitely. All right? Um, if you have any questions, send me an email. Uh, take a screenshot of a problem you don't understand. Send it to me. We'll walk through it. All right? Um, that's all I got for today. Uh, calendar should be updated by Sunday night uh, for the whole week. So if you want to work ahead, get done with the whole week. More power to you. Get it done. Get it out of the way. You don't have to worry about it. All right? Um, hope you guys are doing well. Keep doing what you're doing. Most of you are doing great. Some of you have way over 100% in class because I've given a lot of extra credit and you're utilizing that. So that's great. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not upset to see 108% in class. All right, better than a 67%. All right, all right. get makeup work done. That's all I got for today. Um, take care uh, and we'll see you next time. All right, bye.